The other day when I was creating a thumbnail, I used Figma and I added these 3D-ish effect to a plain image, right? And then also I had seen Patrick's video of him bringing the magic mask into the edit page. So those two things combined actually just sort of gave me this idea. Well, why don't I just put together something similar to the Figma plugin in DaVinci Resolve? And that's how I came up with 3D Rise. I guess we could call it that, right? But anyways, let me just show you how it works. Basically, to install this effect or plugging, whatever you want to call it, all you have to do is double click the DRFX file because it's set up that way. Then you will find the Swabby bin or folder on your effects tab. And here you will just add these to the image that we have here. In the intro for this video, I actually just used that effect and I actually just added a planar tracker. What does this effect do actually? Basically, it brings anything that's plain into the 3D space, right? It doesn't add volume to a 2D plane because we haven't been able to figure that out yet, how to do it for some reason. In the effects tab, we have these cool branding element that I will show you in a future video how to do this because I learned it. So this is version one. I plan on updating based on your feedback. And if you want me to add more elements or stuff to it, we can work around with it. So on the first, the first thing that you have here is the position, which allows you to move it like basically just like the transform controls almost. But the interesting thing here is that when you move the rotation, you will be able to actually notice that there's a little bit of a difference. And why is this difference? Well, that's where the actual pivot point comes into place. If this was at zero, this would just move like that, like a normal thing, which is still cool. You can use it to for something like that, probably like like a banner or something popping up and do that or a text. But you can do that if you turn the Z on the C space into the pivot point into negative, then you can actually add a little bit more or rotation to it. And sort of it looks a little bit more interesting, right? You can actually just experiment and then make it work in whatever way you want. Now, I also added two bending nodes into these so that you can actually bend things a little bit more and add a little bit more of a volume to it. It's not a replacement for the actual 3D volume, right? But it's just a way to sell the effect a little bit more like that. So it, then when you rotate these, for example, you can see how it has a little bit more volume than if it was just like a normal 3D plane that's used in Fusion. So this is a pretty simple drag and drop effect. But I do want to see your feedback so that I can actually update these in the future and add more things. Or maybe if you know, if you're a script expert, maybe we can find a way to implement it. And then we sort of create a little bit more like of 3D volume into the different 2D elements here and add that into this effect. So to download it, just go to the Swabby store and you will find it there. And then to install it, just double click the DRFX file and then you will be able to play around with this effect. I think this could be a pretty interesting plugin in the future that could be useful for many people. So the thumbnail that I was working on when I got this idea was actually the thumbnail for the timers guide video. So if you want to learn a bit more about timers in DaVinci Resolve, watch this video right here.